Welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. In our prior tutorial, we have learned how to make this bouncy ball by changing the physical properties of a part. In this tutorial, let's take a closer look at physical properties. So here's the script that we have used to make the bouncy ball. We have defined a bunch of constants. And then here we use those constants to make a physical property object, which we assign it to the custom physical properties of the part. And that makes the part more bouncy because we change the elasticity and the elasticity weight of the part. Now, in case you don't need to change the friction weight and the elasticity weight, you could have just removed these two and used the default. So you only need to specify the density, friction, and elasticity when you're making the physical properties object. Let's run test now and take a look. You can see our red ball still bounces more than the blue ball, but it doesn't keep on bouncing because we did not change the elasticity weight of the part. So it bounces a little bit more, but then it stops. Another thing you can do with physical properties is you can get the physical properties of a material. For example, here I'm getting the physical properties of two different materials. The first material I'm getting is air, and the second material that I'm getting is the material of a rock. And then I'm printing out the physical property of air, and I'm printing out the physical property of the rock. Let's run test now and take a look, but first let's open up the output window. And now we're going to run test and take a look. The physical properties of air and physical properties of a rock. You can see the rock is much denser than air. You can see the density is much higher than air. The friction is much higher than air. And the elasticity of a rock is much higher than that of air. One final thing I want to mention here is you can also get the value of each of these individual entities. For example, if I want to get the value of friction of the rock, here I'm going to do a print. And inside the print statement, I'm going to print physical properties dot friction. We are only printing out the friction property of the rock. Let's run test and take a look. And here it is. It printed 0.5 and 0.5 is the friction property of the rock. And that is more on physical properties in Roblox. Thank you all for watching and we will see you again soon in our next tutorial. Take care everyone.